Hi there, this is Tracy of TracyReed.com and I'm just coming at you today with a really quick and easy way to recolor your alphabets or other digital scrapbooking elements to match your digital kit that you happen to be working with or maybe just a paper that you want to work with. As you can see, the pink of the letters in my name don't quite match the corally pink of the background paper. And for some people that's perfectly fine, but for me, being an anal retentive crazy person, I kind of want the pinks to be the same. So I'm going to show you today how to use the hue and saturation slider to make your pinks match. First we need to select all of the letters in my name. So the easiest way to do that is to command or control click the layer thumbnail in your layers palette and if you watch me do it you can see now that I have marching ants around the T here. Now if you hit shift command click or shift control click you can add all of the other letters to your selection as well. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And now I have all of my letters selected, which is what we need because we don't want to be changing the background color of the paper. We just want to be changing the letters. So once we have that, we come down here to the Create a New Fill or Adjustment Layer button and click on that. And we want to have Hue Saturation. Now there's a lot of ways that we can recolor something. But I find this to be the easiest when you have an, an element that is pretty close to what you want um, your actual color to be, but not quite there. If these letters were black and we wanted them to be pink, then we would have to go about changing the color of the letters differently. But since they're already pink and they're already pretty much the same saturation and lightness levels as the pink that we want, we can go ahead and just use the sliders. Now, as you can see, since I had all of my letters selected, it created a layer mask for the hue saturation um, adjustment layer. And instead of coloring the whole background paper like it would if we hadn't selected anything. So the sliders do a few different things. We're going to start here with the lightness and we're going to work our way up. So if I adjust the lightness slider, you can see it changes how bright the color adjustment is. And of course this would look terrible if we left it like this or if we left it like this, but um, smaller, more minute changes are okay with the lightness bar. The saturation will adjust how much color you have in your pinks that's a lot of saturation and then here's when we start taking the color out we will probably won't need to play with that too much to match our pinks today because they're pretty similar saturation wise so this is the money slider as I like to call it this is where you can change the color of your letters to basically any color you want them to be if we go way big over here oh we have a lovely lime greenish yellow color or if we move down a little farther, we have more of a highlighter green. And if we go this way, we have blue all the way down into kind of a tealy color. But we won't need to do that much adjustment. We just need to go a little bit in the direction of orange. Oh, see how it started to get a little bit more coral there? There we go. And if you really wanted to, you could take the saturation down just a little bit to match the flowers and the paper, but I don't get that nitpicky. I actually prefer my saturation to stay where it was. So, as you can see, it was super easy to change the color to match the coral in the background. Here, I'll turn off the adjustment layer so you can see the difference. It just took one little click on the slider and we were almost there. Now, I can also go in and change it to the teal color in the background, as you saw, if I wanted to. But, oh look, here's almost, almost the right yellow. Oh, look at that. So, when you buy an alphabet and 
you go to use it and you say, ugh, oh, it's just not quite the right color. Now you have a little trick that you can use to fix it, um, assuming that you're not trying to change the color completely from, say, a really dark black to a really light pink or a really light pink to a really dark black. If you, ha if you wanted to do that, you'd have to change um, the process a little bit and use a different process to, to change that, and that's a fodder for a different tutorial. So I hope that helped. Um, this I just want to let you know this background paper is from a kit I have coming on March 9th with Tiffany Tillman of Simply Tiffany Studios and the this alphabet was um, my Thickabets Volume 3 which is already available in the shop. Okay, have a great day.